Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming to All Access Live with Kevin Rakin. Today's going to be an amazing event that is not only brought to you by Five Star Guitars, which you saw in the roller there, but also a few other sponsors. Before I get started, just let me let you know that Five Star Guitars is based in Beaverton, Oregon, which means that if you're interested in playing guitars or getting accessories or lessons or anything like that, purchasing online at fivestarguitars.com slash allaccesslive will get you 15% off everything you see. Plus, there's no sales tax in Oregon, so you're going to save a ton of money, and you can support an amazing organization. Also, today's show is sponsored by Tillamook Creamery in Oregon, Tillamook.com, as well as Secret Aardvark. Secret Aardvark.com is an amazing hot sauce company originating there in the Oregon area. And finally, Migration Brewing is also sponsoring the Love Oregon Project. So we want to thank all the sponsors for making today happen. Now... Today, we are joined by not only the Dynamo assisting uh, my primary guest today, uh, Julie Jockums, but I also have the originator and founder, Caroline Fitchett. So thank you both of you for being here and uh, and welcome from uh, from lovely Oregon. Hi, Kev. Uh, hi. Nice to see you, Kev. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you guys for making this happen. Um, Caroline. You and I spoke a little bit uh, when I was down in Santa Fe about the origination of Love Oregon. Um, I will put a little bit more information in the show notes here, but why don't we talk a little bit about what Love Oregon started out with when you first had the idea? You bet. Uh, you know, it really came out of uh, the pandemic when we were all sort of in a position of isolation and a little bit of heartache. And one of the things that a lot of us were missing was a sense of community and uh so the idea came about of um, what are the things that we miss, which is uh, connections to artists and live music. It was being able to sit across the table uh, with friends and family and sharing an amazing meal that perhaps is locally sourced here in Oregon. We have amazing uh, farmers and food and beverage providers, as well as being able to, and the one place that we could do these things safely later during COVID was outside. And that's really how Love Oregon Project was born, was the uh, vision of having a small festival where we were celebrating the things that bring us together that we could do safely, uh, our natural areas, local food and beverages, and of course, uh, our amazing uh, artists that we have and musicians here in Oregon. Fantastic. Well, I love to eat. You know that music is a big part for me. So the, um, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, the music for this year. So this is, how many years have you actually done this festival then? Is this the third year? This is the third year. The first okay. year we rented an island, actually, uh, right outside of the Portland metro area, which was gorgeous, and then Delta hit. So we right. had to cancel that due to uh, Delta. And so this is actually the second year, the first year was last year at Camp Colton, which is just outside the Portland area by about 35 minutes of outdoor school, old outdoor school camp. And then this year's event is being held? Same place at uh, okay. Camp Colton, Oregon. Yep. Okay. Uh, and people know that if they're watching this, they can go to loveoregonproject.com and they get all the details. And you can purchase tickets. You can probably find out a little bit about the sponsorship and also maybe opportunities for volunteering. Yes. Yes, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. And there's weekend and day tickets and one night tickets. And it's also very, very family friendly. Important for folks to know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As far as uh, as people coming in wanting to to be a part of this thing, I know that uh, you've recruited dear friend Julie Jockums here below as well. So um, maybe, uh, Julie, why don't you tell a little bit about how you've been involved in the past with this organization? Well, um, kind of uh, in my head started when Caroline had a birthday during COVID and her party didn't happen like it was supposed to and it kind of grew into this incredibly beautiful thing and uh, Caroline always has a bunch of adventures inside her and I just follow along and help her pull them together and it's always super fun. I'm amazed looking at her. She doesn't even look like she fell on a hornet's nest yesterday. <laughs> did you? I, this, I did. Another yeah. interesting day job. Uh, <laughs> the pains yeah. you go through to try and make events happen, huh? Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, is, uh, Julie, when uh, when it comes to actually the event being on site, are you helping mm -hmm. out with uh, with organization and, and kind of getting people where they need to go? Yeah, there's a team of six of us. 
and uh, last year I worked on the music and this year I'm kind of managing the volunteers and working on the welcome experience. And uh, we're gonna have a maker circle and um, uh, workshops. And so I'm in charge of running those. And I've got some really fun people helping me with those. And we've got all sorts of fun things happening for the kids. Last year, we didn't have a huge group of kids, but the kids that were there um, kind of moved in a pack, had so much fun. They're in charge with so, of so many things like ringing the dinner bell and calling people to gather and uh, finding hearts in the forest and doing like nature treasure hunts and making art with them. So we try to just find lots of different ways for people to be creative. Caroline's a very creative person. So we just keep so now we're just shooting that out into the forest, more or less. <laughs> I, I like you mentioned one of the events, uh, the activities is finding hearts in the forest. I think that's kind of the concept behind the whole event, right? This is a beautiful thing that the community can come together and not only find hearts, but but share their heart as well. And so um, one thing that people might realize is that an area like this, especially with your facilitation, um, being connected to music and art and, and culture in general, food, all those kinds of things, uh, it really makes it feel like um, your family. You know, so this this community, in which we all need right now, that, that pairing, um, I know that it's sort of, sort of housed around some of the music. And I was just going to list these artists. I, I'm really excited about it because you've got some of my favorites there, too. Um, performing this year at uh, Love, Oregon, you've got Wonderly, you got Glitter Fox, you've got Ren, Nathan Earl, Tyrone Hendricks, uh, you know, and the PDX Soul Collective. P Tyrone is one of my favorite drummers and amazing musicians and, and human beings. Uh, Lisa Lipton Trio, Kai Burt, Friends of Noise. You've got uh, uh, Alea Loren, AKA Church Girl, and of course, the lovely Christy Lane. So you've got a lot of great music this year. Uh, you uh this is sort of festival chris style. is actually going to be doing a music workshop as well really okay yeah, what, uh, and chris what, and Joseph yeah. we'll also and be so, doing one okay um so you've sort of got this festival style so do you have bands kind of performing concurrently or do you have a little break in between where people can go and so we yeah we really um the focus is uh, you know, it's kind of like a three-legged stool for this festival or, you know, three points on a heart, uh, which is uh, we revolve, build community around the food and the meals, which guests are encouraged to also help participate in that. As Julie okay. mentioned, the kids are responsible for ringing the dinner bell so that everybody knows before a meal happens. They can hear the bell all throughout the 85-acre wilderness area that we take over for the weekend. And then, um, and then, of course, the other point in the heart is uh, music and how music can heal and inspire and bring people together. And then the third is really around education and coming together to discuss uh, issues and to learn, which is where the workshops uh, come in and, and everything takes place outside. So it's all enveloped in Oregon's beautiful, uh, natural environment. A I few of the it. workshops I just want to point out because they are super fun and exciting. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, Kevin, we all really need a little bit more love right now and yeah. community and family connection. So mental health is definitely a piece of this festival. And when you think about, oh, I'm going to go to a festival, you don't really think about, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn a little bit about therapy. But at yeah. Love Oregon, you have the opportunity to do so. So this is both in the form of uh, Kai Burke, who is a musician, an Oregon singer-songwriter and musician. He's also a therapist. And his practice really incorporates music and the outdoors and nature into his therapy. So he's doing a workshop around that, that benefits, that'll benefit, you know, from kids to, to older, older age individuals. And then uh, we also have a workshop on psilocybin. So we actually have two of the um, sort of, I would say somewhat founders of the movement here in Oregon who have the first centers that are gonna talk about the health benefits of psilocybin. And then of course, um, we've got a lot of outdoor nature activities. So one of which is a barefoot meditation walk through the forest. And of course we're preparing the trail. So it's very safe uh, sure. for everyone, but that is again, to entice people to really utilize their senses in, in the forest and in nature. And then the last one having to do with music 
and the outdoors is called Hear, Hike, and Seek. And this is where we are um, dropping a number of these musicians throughout the 85 acres of wilderness. And there's a time period where guests are encouraged to use their uh, auditory senses to go seek out and find the acoustic musicians playing throughout uh, this wilderness area. And there's three uh, different forest ecosystems. There's two streams, there's a pond and a waterfall. So there's just a lot to explore. Yeah, and we're super excited. Can't wait. Uh, that is it's an incredible great. place. And when you get home, I'm taking you in Edgar and we'll go hiking because it's so close for you and it's it's stunning. I really it feel I, yeah. you know, you know that if I was anywhere nearby, I would definitely be at this festival. I am. Um, uh, so you mentioned that this is at Camp Colton. Uh, what I didn't mention at the beginning of the show, uh, this event happens from September 1st through 3rd. So it's over Labor Day weekend there, it's just outside of Portland. Um, it's a stone's throw from Portland. So folks, if you're anywhere in that area, you've definitely got uh, close access. And then once you're there, uh, I understand there's tent camping. Is that correct? That's correct. There's, okay. um, and everything is included. So in the price of a weekend ticket, which is $250, your meals are included. And these are not just any meals. It is a family sit down, gourmet prepared, uh, sustainably sourced uh, fish from a wild caught Alaskan fish that's coming in just for the, just for the event. And we've got um, sustainably raised and produced uh, chicken from Champui, uh, uh, Shampooie Farm, which is outside of uh, Salem, and they're just a great uh, family farm. So all your meals are included, your uh, coffee and parking, and of course, all the workshops and musicians and exploration of the, of the camp. And if folks don't want to camp, there is a possibility of car and RV parking, as well as there are yurts and um, little cabin rooms that folks can rent to. What a deal. I can't believe this is all yeah. included. So and September the food 1st is incredible. Keith yes. Bidwell is our chef, and uh, he just got off being the chef uh, at Pickathon. So he's uh, he's in festival mode and <laughs> has all sorts of creative things to create for us. Um, we also uh, are we doing the pizza oven? We are. Well, we've got an outdoor pizza oven, so Saturday we'll serve uh, pizza. And of course, and everything that is served comes from Oregon. Our olive oil comes from Dundee, Durant Olive Oil. The coffee comes from local coffee roasteries, Water Avenue Coffee in Portland. And also out of the Colton Dundee area is um, Excelsior uh, Coffee, which is delicious. And um, yeah, so just great, great food and beverage partners, which allow us and Filio Terra Wines, which is a woman-owned winery in Southeast Portland. So we do also wine tastings and teachings each day um, in the afternoon. So folks can learn about um, the different wines that Ann produces. And it's connected to uh, the actually Kenai Red Fish Company, which is where we're getting our uh, salmon from. They're coming out to do um, serve smoked salmon during the wine tastings. And they'll talk about their sustainable fishing practices as well. I would imagine alongside that, you probably got a good selection of uh, Tillamook uh, products and also <laughs> Secret Art Bark Hot Sauce. We do. We do. Yes. <laughs> and, we do. Uh, and then Migration Brewers. We love our Art Bark. Yes. We Last do. year, people that, oh, sorry. Last year, people that found Love Oregon Hearts, their prize was a bottle of Secret Art Bark Sauce. Really? So you might just win some Secret Art Bark Sauce if you come to the festival. I'm not sure what the game will be this year, but. And it sounds some great prizes. You've got so there's an education component. There certainly is wellness behind everything that happens there. Uh, this is the ultimate feel good festival. So you're going to walk in there um, with uh, an expectation and walk out with really an understanding of of connectivity and family and um, celebration. It really, it, I'm excited for you guys, and I wish yeah. I could be there. But we uh, would but too. next year, absolutely yes. next year. And you know, I think. Uh, I'll be performing shows along the West Coast during that time, so I'll make sure that I can log in during the day and see some uh, some of the posts. I'm sure that you've got uh, lots. We could just fans. plan our festival around your drumming schedule. That would work <laughs> yeah. Too, so. yeah, if I had <laughs> any kind of say, you know, that I would maybe just uh, you know try and uh, fly the, the seagulls in to, to perform. But uh, <laughs> so all the I might hide you in the forest next year. 
maybe I'll get lost in the forest and just end up at Love, Oregon. And that way it's banned. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's uh, really close to your home, Camp Colton is. I picked Lisa Lapine's uh, mug this morning, a good friend of ours who I know would love this festival and I feel has inspired a lot of this festival, festival, but there's no place like home and Oregon is our home, right? And uh, Colton has everything that Oregon offers other than the coast. Everything <laughs> else is there. It's just so incredibly beautiful. It's the perfect place to have an event like this where people can really unplug and relax and um, just be with nature. Yeah, and really reap the benefits of Oregon. I mean, the festival is really wrapped up as a love letter from Oregon to all of us. And and uh, and I feel like our experience there is to some extent a love letter back to Oregon in terms of honoring um, everything that we gain from living and being a part of the culture of this beautiful state. Yeah, and it's all about being together. You know, being with your friends and your family, your family. Um, we're going to end every night with um, the musicians singing. Uh, camp songs around the bonfire. Everybody can make s'mores. Um, so it's really about connecting all day at different levels and uh, beginning and ending your day with the same people. And it's going to be really magic. There were so many magical connections that happened last year. Um, it's hard to even put it in words. I guess you just have to experience it. Well, people can experience it if they go to loveoregonproject.com. They can get their tickets. They can get an overview. They can find out a little more about the sponsors. And, uh, and folks, make sure you go out there. Spend September 1st through 3rd at Camp Colton there at Love, Oregon. Uh, Caroline, Julie, thank you guys so much for making this day happen. And I uh, can't wait to hear how successful this is. And uh, cheers, uh, cheers to you for a successful festival weekend. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. There's no place like home. Having us. <laughs> Love to both of you. Take care. Bye.